Beneath the blanket of serenity that shrouds the ocean's expanse, a relentless quest for the unknown stirred. Over two centuries ago, a figure emerged whose voyages would engrave a historical contour as profound as the coastlines he charted. James Cook, an enigma wrapped in the winds of adventure, set forth on a journey that would forever alter the compass of the world's understanding. What secrets did the vast Pacific hold, waiting for the likes of Captain Cook to unveil? With each nautical mile gained against the relentless sea, our grasp of the globe's grandeur expanded. A Yorkshire farm boy turned mariner, James Cook, embarked on an odyssey destined to intertwine with legend. The year 1768 marked the inception of a voyage that would defy the edges of the map and the imagination. Amidst the whispers of uncharted islands and civilizations untouched by European gaze, there laid anticipation for narratives yet to unfold. What encounters awaited the crew aboard the HMS Endeavour as they ventured into the sprawling canvas of the unknown? These initial ripples of curiosity paved the way for a legacy both celebrated and scrutinized. As we delve into the echoes of Cook's Odyssey, let us ponder the duality of exploration, its luminous revelations and the shadows they cast. Born into modest beginnings in 1728 in the village of Martin, Yorkshire, James Cook emerged from a background that offered little hint of his future renown. His father, a Scottish farmhand, recognized the value of education and ensured young James attended the local school. Completing his basic studies, Cook began work at a local grocery shop, but soon grew restless, seeking adventure and a career at sea. At the age of 18, Cook took his first formal step towards his destiny. He relocated to a coastal town, apprenticing with a shipowner in the coal trade. Mastery of this humble but hazardous seafaring work laid the foundation for his exemplary naval skills. In 1755, amid rising tension prior to the Seven Years' War, Cook chose security and opportunity, enlisting in the British Royal Navy. With England on the precipice of global conflict, the mid-18th century was a time of expansion and discovery, fueled by powerful maritime nations. It was an era when the Royal Navy began to dominate the seas, with advancements in navigation, shipbuilding, and the establishment of far-flung colonies, creating a backdrop for Cook's forthcoming expeditions. His entrance into the Navy coincided with an age where journeys of exploration were not only quests for new lands, but battles for empire and science. Embarking on a journey that would seal his name in the annals of history, James Cook set sail aboard the HMS Endeavour in 1768, destined for uncharted waters. As a man accustomed to the harsh realities of seafaring life, Cook's resilience and leadership would be tested to their limits by the tempestuous temperament of the sea. It was during adversities such as navigating the treacherous Great Barrier Reef that Cook's character shone brightest, demonstrating an unwavering calm under pressure and an ability to rally his men against the odds. This maiden voyage aimed to reach Tahiti to observe the transit of Venus across the sun an astronomical event of great significance to the 18th century scientific community. However, Cook's secret instructions revealed a task that would extend the bounds of the British Empire to locate the fabled southern continent, Terra Australis. Steering the endeavor through the vast Pacific Ocean, Cook's persistence led to remarkable discoveries. It was in October of 1769 that they first sighted the lush landscapes of New Zealand. Cook and his crew would spend the subsequent months charting the intricate coastlines, bringing to light a landmass that had remained a mystery to Europeans. By April 1770, Cook had maneuvered northward, making landfall on the untamed shores of the Australian East Coast. With meticulous effort, Cook charted significant portions of the coastline, including Botany Bay and the future site of Sydney. These encounters would reshape European maps, introducing a new world teeming with diverse ecosystems, unfamiliar wildlife, and indigenous peoples. The Endeavour's return to England in 1771 marked the end of a voyage that was as much a triumph of human endurance and leadership as it was a gift to geography and science, forever altering European perceptions of the Southern Hemisphere.
When delving into the prolific achievements of Captain James Cook, one cannot glance over his groundbreaking contributions to the spheres of navigation and cartography. James Cook's inventive approaches were pivotal in not just charting previously unexplored territories, but they also significantly augmented the precision of sea travel. His skillful use of the latest navigational instruments, like the chronometer, which he utilized on his second voyage, enabled sailors to ascertain their longitude at sea with an unprecedented level of accuracy. During the 18th century, this level of navigational precision was revolutionary, propelling maritime exploration into a new era. Cook's methodology in mapping the coastlines was meticulous, preparing charts so accurate that some remained in use well into the 20th century. The detailed cartography produced by Cook and his crew provided invaluable data for future explorations, enhancing European understanding of the world's vast oceans and the lands beyond them. His first voyage in 1768 aboard the HMS Endeavour, which was initially commissioned to observe the transit of Venus, extended its mission to secretive instructions to search for the southern continent, to Terra Australis Incognita, dramatically altering European knowledge about the South Pacific and Oceania. It wasn't just lines on maps that Cook impacted, it was also the perceptions and imaginations of Europe. His journeys shattered misconceptions about the Southern Hemisphere. Cook's accounts and observations fed into a European hunger for knowledge about distant lands, contributing to a shift in the global view during the Age of Enlightenment. Marrying science with exploration, the very tides of European thought began to change, with ideas of discovery and empirical evidence gaining ground. Following Cook's paths, the world could no longer be conceptualized as the vast, unknown expanse that it once was. Instead, it was now a complex web of currents, coasts, peoples, and mysteries yet to uncover. Cook's expeditions were no mere maritime exploits. They were intellectual voyages that steered the course of Western thought and scientific study. As we reflect upon these achievements, it is crucial to emphasize the extent of Cook's influence, which endures even in contemporary times. The innovation and bravado that underscored his voyages did not just transform how Europe saw the world. They laid down the rudiments for the modern realms of exploration and navigation. The precision of Cook's cartography spawned safer and more reliable trade routes, underpinning the expansion and economic development that followed. By setting the gold standard for the mapping of new territories, Cook essentially redrew the world as the West knew it. His work bolstered the spirit of discovery, echoing through the ages as a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Captain James Cook, a name synonymous with exploration and discovery, is equally linked to controversy and a complex legacy. As we peel back the layers of his historic undertakings, we encounter the less celebrated aspects of his voyages, particularly regarding their impact on indigenous populations. Cook's extensive mapping of lands previously unknown to Europeans was an undeniably remarkable feat. However, these expeditions often led to the first encounters between Europeans and numerous indigenous communities. On many Pacific islands, for instance, Cook's arrival marked the start of significant and sometimes devastating changes. Notably, during Cook's third voyage in Hawaii, tensions escalated, resulting in Cook's death and a series of violent confrontations that deeply affected the native Hawaiian people. The consequences of these encounters for indigenous populations ranged from the introduction of diseases against which they had no immunity to disruptions in their social and cultural landscapes. Smallpox, tuberculosis, and influenza alien to these isolated communities soon became harbingers of mortality, drastically reducing native populations and altering their way of life forever. While these dark aspects cast a shadow over Cook's legacy, it is also essential to acknowledge the duality of his contribution to history. His advancements in navigation and cartography were unparalleled for the time and paved the way for numerous scientific achievements. Cook's work provided the foundation for future explorations and has been invaluable to the fields of astronomy, ethnography, and natural history.
Cook's interactions with indigenous peoples, although sometimes exploitative or patronizing from a modern perspective, were during his time considered relatively compassionate compared to his contemporaries. His journals reflect a man who frequently showed genuine interest and respect for the cultures he encountered. Yet, these nuances do not absolve the broader consequences of imperial expansion that followed in his wake. The legacy of James Cook remains a topic of debate to this day. His voyages radically transformed the European outlook of the world, expanding the geographical imagination of the era. But for the indigenous people affected by Cook's expeditions, the encounters marked the beginning of a challenging chapter, one filled with both cultural exchange and cultural loss. And so we reflect on this multifaceted figure, a pioneer of exploration whose deeds inscribed both wondrous and painful marks on the tapestry of human history. The story of Captain James Cook serves as a reminder of the intertwined nature of discovery and controversy, of progress and its human costs. As we ponder his legacy, we are compelled to consider the duality that defines so many great historical narratives. As we weave together the strings of our narrative, we find ourselves reflecting on the remarkable saga of Captain James Cook, a voyage that began from the modest origins of a farm boy in Yorkshire led to seismic shifts in our understanding of the world's geography. From mapping uncharted lands to traversing perilous seas, Cook's expeditions were mosaics of courage, innovation, and an insatiable quest for knowledge. Cook's voyages were marked by extraordinary feats of navigation, unveiling the veiled corners of the Pacific, including New Zealand, and charting the east coast of Australia for the first time in Western history. It was in 1770, during the first historic voyage aboard HMS Endeavour, that Cook planted the British flag at Botany Bay, etching a new chapter in the annals of exploration. But, as with many tales of exploration, the fabric of this story is interwoven with threads both light and dark. Cook's journeys were not without controversy, straining the delicate tapestries of indigenous cultures even as they advanced European scientific knowledge. It is the duality of Cook's legacy that paints him both as a pioneering hero and a harbinger of change that would significantly affect native populations. In conclusion, let us embrace the complexity of historical narratives. The tale of James Cook, replete with its tapestry of adventure, discovery, and consequence, implores us to consider the multifaceted nature of exploration and its lasting imprint upon our collective consciousness. As we sail beyond today's horizon, let us continue to ponder the enduring impact of those who ventured into the vast unknown, mapping not just the globe, but the breadth of human courage and curiosity. Thank you for joining us on the Daily History Podcast to witness the remarkable journey of the Wright brothers. If this story of innovation and determination has inspired you, please subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear which historical milestones you're curious about. Remember, you can drive the choice for our next episode. Suggest a topic, and if your idea gets the most likes, it could be featured in an upcoming episode. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned for more windows into the past that have shaped our present.